Hello everyone, you're watching Fraser Classroom channel and in this video, my son Vedant is going to help me with the demonstration of the kinesotaping application method to reduce hemiplegic shoulder pain and prevent subluxation in stroke patients. Now there are a lot many factors that can lead to development of hemiplegic shoulder pain or subluxation in stroke patients, namely poor posturing, poor positioning of the scapula on the thoracic wall as well as the spastic or flaccid weakness of of the dynamic stabilizers of the shoulder joint. Also poor handling of the upper limb during exercises and transfer can result in shoulder subluxation and shoulder pain. The kinesotaping application that will be demonstrated in this video is divided into five parts. The first application is going to address the activation of the supraspinatus muscle and for the physiotherapy students I would like to specially mention that this is the most important key muscle within the rotator cuff muscle group that is responsible for maintaining the dynamic stability of the glenohumeral joint. The second part of the kinesotaping application is going to ensure the functional correction of the positioning of the glenohumeral joint. The third component of the kinesotaping application is going to address the site of pain that is the subacromial space and the AC joint. The fourth part of the kinesotaping application will be the mechanical correction for the humeral head within the glenoid cavity. And the last and final part of the application is going to address the normal neutral setting posture in the hemiplegic patient because again this is very important because if the patient is going to sit for long periods in the stooped or relaxed posture this is going to alter the positioning of the scapula and thereby is going to compromise the glenohumeral stability. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of the kinesotaping technique for hemiplegic shoulder pain and subluxation. So in this example we are going to tape for the right side shoulder joint. So the first taping that we are going to perform is for the activation or support to the supraspinatus muscle. For this I have prepared an eye strip that is going to be applied over the spine of the scapula where the supraspinatus originates and the strip is going to be placed distal to the glenohumeral joint at least 1 to 2 inches. So before the application, the overlying skin is going to be stretched by asking the patient to just sit in a relaxed posture so that the shoulders are protracted. And now we are going to tear the anchor and this is going to be applied just medially to the spine of the scapula. And then we are going to remove the paper backing and we are going to leave some for the distal anchor and then we are going to give around 25 to 30% stretch and then the last part of it is again going to be applied with no stretch. Rub the tape to ensure the adherence by activation of the glue and now the patient is going to be returned back to the neutral position. Now the second part of the kinesotaping application is going to address the functional correction of the glenohumeral joint. So for this we are going to measure the kinesotape around 2 to 3 inches proximal to the AC joint and we are going to measure it up to the deltoid tuberosity. So for this taping the patient's shoulder is going to be abducted to around 90 degrees and this needs to be done with the help of another person. And now we are going to again tear the anchor from one end and this is going to be applied around 2 to 3 inches proximal to the AC joint. Rub the anchor properly and now we are going to remove the paper backing and again we are going to leave some for the distal anchor. And now while stabilizing the proximal anchor, I am going to stretch this tape for to around, so this is 100%, I am going to back up by 50%, so 50% tension is going to be there. And then I am going to place it over the distal part of the humerus. And now I am going to ask the patient to just come down from here. And then I am going to just slide my hand that was on the top in the downward direction. Apply the hand to create friction and then the last part of the tape is going to be applied with no tension. So because in this position there was 50% tension in the tape, as we bring the tape down the tension increases further and the recoiling effect of the tape is in the superior direction which is again going to 
activate the mechanoreceptors in the skin that will help to activate muscles that counteract the inferior pull of the gravity. For the third application, we are going to address the site of pain and for this we are going to use the decompression taping with the center first application. A 6 inch long eye strip will be needed for this particular application and it is going to be applied in such a manner so that the tape covers the AC joint as well as some portion of the subacromial space. So now I am going to tear the strip from the center and then the paper backing are going to be removed towards each end holding the both distal and proximal anchors. And now while holding the paper backing and the tape at each end we are going to stretch it by around 50 to 75 percent and then this tape is going to be placed right on top of the area of pain. And now to apply the anchor what we are going to do is the anterior part of the strip is going to be applied only after asking the patient to abduct and horizontally extend the shoulder and then we are going to apply this with no tension. Similarly the posterior part of the eye strip is going to be applied by asking the patient to flex the shoulder and horizontally adduct it. No tension will be placed on both the anchors. Relax. So fourth part of the taping application is going to be addressing the mechanical correction of the position of the humeral head within the glenoid cavity. So what we want here is we want to prevent the abnormal internal rotation of the humeral head in the glenoid cavity which is often the scenario. So for this first we are going to position the upper limb in such a manner so that the humeral head is externally rotated. We are going to make the patient sit in an upright posture and then we are going to measure the tape just medial to the coracoid process and around the shoulder behind to around half of the spine of the scapula. So again we are going to create an anchor from one end, remove the paper backing and this is going to be applied around 2 inches medial to the blue eye strip. Rub the anchor and then remove the paper backing. Leave some paper backing for the another side anchor and then with pressure move towards the humeral head. Once we reach the humeral head we have to apply tension around 50 to 75 percent and then wrap around the shoulder joint come back and then again with no stretch apply the posterior anchor. Now what this tape is actually going to do is whenever there is going to be abnormal internal rotation of the humeral head which is again the most common cause of the impingement the tension in this tape is going to increase which is again going to send stimulus to the brain to correct or alter the position of the shoulder joint back in such a manner so that this tension again becomes less. Now the last and final part of the kinesio taping application is going to help the patient learn to sit in an upright neutral position because we again do not want the faulty positioning of the scapula on the posterior thoracic wall. So for this we are going to use the X taping method. So one eye strip is going to come from here and then it is going to go diagonally towards the PSIS and similarly the another X eye strip, another eye strip is going to come from here to the contralateral PSIS. So make the patient first assume the upright sitting posture and now from here tear the paper backing from one end and then this is going to be applied. Always ensure that there is some skin that adheres over which the tape actually adheres and it does not fully overlaps the another tape because it compromises the stickiness of the kinesio tape. Now from here we are going to stabilize our first anchor, remove the paper backing from here and then we are going to keep the last paper backing and after stabilizing the first anchor just sit straight we are going to give some 50% stretch and then we are going to apply it with the remaining part of it is going to go with no tension. Very nice. So what this tape actually does is whenever the patient tries to go in a hyperkyphotic posture 
it stretches and stimulates the mechanoreceptors in the skin which sends signal to the brain to reduce this tension so the patient learns to sit in a position where the tape has less tension so this was one of the very effective way in which we can use the kinesiotaping taping application to address hemiplegic shoulder pain and subluxation in a stroke patient I sincerely hope that the information and the technique that is demonstrated in this video is going to be helpful for you all. So see you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.